this module here, we'll be talking about what is really necessary for you to actually gain muscles, and gain weight. See, there's two components that plays into part here. First of all, is your nutrition, of course, that you're eating, you're eating enough food in order to stimulate your muscle to grow. Second thing over here is that you are becoming stronger. When you're lifting, when you're doing your weights, you're becoming stronger and you, you're moving in the principles of progressive overload, that you're moving forward in a direction where you see yourself becoming stronger, lifting more, and, and, and actually developing your muscles, stimulate your muscle to be able to grow. So if you take the food part first, for you to be able to, to gain muscle and gain weight and becoming stronger, you need to have enough calories in your body to be able to, to, to utilize that when you go up and train. We see so many people that try to put on muscle mass and they're like, yeah, I'm eating all the time and all that. But when they're actually looking at the, at the times, time frame where they're eating and they're looking at the calories in total and all that and take into consideration your metabolism. Well, lots of people are not getting enough calories to be able and consistently be able to sustain and actually gaining the muscles in there. It's super, super hard to gain muscles, and it all comes down to your, you know, what, what's your physiology? Are you a muscle morph? Are you, what, what are you, are you toning up easily? Are you, are you putting on weight easily? What is your body type, and how are you actually moving in there? Because if you are a, a person that is like always seems to be, you know, a little bit skinny, I'm, I'm like I'm always like I can eat whatever I want. Well, you are you're in the category of of having a fast metabolism. So what you want to focus on there, you're not going to focus on eating, just eating everything and eating shit and junk food. What you're going to focus on, you're going to focus on consistently, progressively increasing your calories until you see a change. We can go in and we can go in and change our physiology, our body type. We can go in and change that gradually over time by actually doing it and pushing in the direction we want to go. It's the same thing with the body again. You know, we want to lose weight, we're adapting to it. Your body is a certain type and you want to push that. You want to push the limit and push it out of its comfort zone and move it in the direction you want to go. So again, when you want to put on muscle mass and you have a hard time putting on weight, you want to slowly increase your calories with good food, with food that you are that you, that, that, that is healthy for you. A good trick here for you is because if you, if you have a hard time putting on a lot of weight, well, you have to eat a lot of calories. And you see people going up and eating four, five, six thousand calories and still not able to see, you know, like, like a, a, a weight increase or gradually moving forward in that direction then. What you need to go in and focus on in there, you need to go in and lo focusing on, on low quantity food. Some food that is rich on calories, some food that is good for you, but something that can move the needle for you. So if you have a hard time, I wouldn't encourage you to go out and eat like, like a big plate of broccoli that just fills a lot in your stomach because it fills you up with with lots of quantity, but it's not really giving you any amount of calories on the scale in the end. So what you're gonna go in and focus on here, you're gonna go in and focus on, on, on you know, fat, for example, not peanut butter, salmon, avocado, those things that they're, they're, they're rich in calories and will move the needle, which is like low in quantity. It doesn't fill much in your body. To eat a spoon of peanut butter, well, you can easily get two, 300 calories in a little spoon. You have to eat a lot of broccoli in order to do that. So you're having a hard time putting on size, slowly increasing your, uh, increasing your calories and moving in the direction and pushing the limits of what you need to do in order to, 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 to gain weight and actually maintain. Another thing here is that, you know, we always heard that, you know, you're gonna eat lots of calories in order to, to gain weight and you're gonna eat low calories in order to lose weight. Well, today it's actually changed a little bit in terms of the way you're looking at the things, you know, we don't just want to be a fat fuck you know, like, that, that, that doesn't look good off season, that doesn't look good when we try to put on size. You know? I'm a big believer in that we can still be able to maintain good, good size increase and muscle increase and strength increase if we put our calorie maintenance level very close to where we're eating. So, so if you want to put on size, of course you're going to be in surplus, but you're eating gradually more in terms of where your maintenance level at, because if you're eating 2,000 calories more and where your maintenance level at, well, you will gain a lot of fat instead. So you gotta make sure that you're not eating way over your limit and you're gonna keep it close to your maintenance levels 
to build on lean muscle mass and to become stronger and at the same time look and feel good when you're putting on size and when you're putting on weight.